<laughs> okay, you are the one hosting me. Thank you very much. So, Seth, what's your name? Olua Femi. Please clap for Olua Femi. If you have questions, let me read the Bible. If you have questions, please, uh, you are going to be free to the Bible. To, uh, if you have questions, you are going to be free to raise your hand and please ask your questions. We have uh, still have a few minutes to do this and then we close. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. So like you said, if you have questions, you can raise up your hand so you can get paper from Dr. Yolua. All right. Yeah, so we have some questions that we gathered before you came. Okay. So the first question is this. Um, he is a child of God. He is good looking and is respectful and kind. But I don't feel emotionally, emotionally attached to him. What should I do? Does it concern you? <laughs> All right. So if, if you, the only attachment to that question is if you are saying, I feel led to him, but I'm not attracted to him. All right, what do you do? Number one, don't discard it. I've talked about the fact that cliques are not always marriage. Find out, pray more to find out. Is it marriage? If it is marriage and you are not immediately attracted to her or to him, all right, stay more with that conviction. But don't throw it away, all right? Don't throw that conviction away. Let me tell you something. Sometimes you don't like somebody. You are not attracted to somebody. An event suddenly happens in the life of that person, and all that story changes. Let me tell you something. Some people, eh, they didn't really like some people until they got a job. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? So don't throw it away. But at the same time, keep praying about it. If you feel that, okay, this is a divine leading, and uh, sometimes, eh, if you focus too much on Rachel, you will not know that Leah is also beautiful. And Rachel will not reach out. You will not reach out soon. She will die on the road. Number two, Rachel's name will not be in the genealogy of Jesus. If you focus too much on the beautiful body of Rachel, you will not discover that Leah also has weak eyes. You need to uh, be calm sometimes. To, because sometimes attraction grows. How many people here discover that attraction, have, have noticed attraction growing? Uh, uh -huh. Attraction grows. Sometimes attraction grows. And it's even better when it's growing than when it's dying. Praise God. Yeah, so the second question is, is everything good, but is not very affectionate, not expressive at all? My parents and everyone likes, and I feel like he is God's will for my life. Do you think he will learn? He can be taught. But, yeah, yeah he, it's a dysfunction of what he grew up seeing. And that's, the, unfortunately, for many of us African guys, I tell you the truth. Unfortunately, we didn't see any affection in father. How many people grew up seeing a father that say, ah, Yahomi, eh, eh, well, eh? Uh, something, something. We did, we did, we did. Him. It's film that we watch it. It's a film. Uh, it's a film that we watch it. So it's a dysfunction we grew up with. Anytime a man is doing like that, we know what is making him do like that. And that's exactly the same thing that we carried and imbibed. All right. So praise God. So we can learn. Like it took me time to realize that I was not really romantic. I'm telling you the truth. It took me time to agree. And many of us have not even agreed. But it took me time to agree. And, when I, and if I don't agree, I can't work on what I've not agreed. Yes, some people stop saying statements that that's me, that's me, that's who. You are not supposed to be you. You are supposed to become him. If that is not Christ, then stop saying that's me. Because once you're born again, you subscribe to becoming Christ. So don't say that's me, except that's me means that's Christ. What you are calling me, if it is not Christ, then you should stop saying that's, that's not you. You can become. All right? So I, 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 I started working on myself, and then I learned to start saying thank you. Eh, Bele? Um, but on the school, how was school? Uh, my wife's a teacher. So how was those students? Did they, you know? Had to learn. And sometimes when my wife is now coming saying, ah, if you see what my vice principal said, eh, what is And then she said, yeah, 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 yeah. Before I was like, yeah. But I learned part of being romantic is to say, eh? Oh, 
Hey. So what happened? Hey. And then she's excited. She's ah, she should not watch this video. Because <laughs> and I'm like, hey. So what did she not say? Inside me, I'm like, huh? <laughs> but that's, you know, I had to learn to I had to learn. We have a lot of things to learn because sex is not romance. Sex is not, it's not affection. You know, I was talking about affection. Sex is not affection. It's not first affection. It's just the end of that. All right? But there's affection. I care about you. I love you. I, I think about you. Little things like posting on DPs and writing beautiful things that you also send to the person. It's not that the person has to read it on DP all the time. You send it directly. You understand? And then send it anywhere to publicly. So, so that the person can learn majorly by having an example. All right? And God will help us. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So for the third question. Those are not majors. That's why I can talk like that. But there are some other things that are major. All right? So, so we have been talking every day for the past six months. And I thought we were building a connection. But he recently asked me to pray about his sister that God is leading me, him to. What should I do? You see, did you notice that when I started teaching, I talked about click? Eh? Did you notice that I talked about click? Uh, so, he said, it may be a prayer partner click. You see? So, you, you, I talked about click. Uh, uh, and, and I said that many people misunderstand or misconstrue click. For example, sir, do you know that somebody that God is bringing to your life to help to build your business, when you meet that person, you can... One else. When you meet that person, you can have a click. Always try to find out what this click means. Over time in life, the more you get fine-tuned, the easier the confusion. For example, there's no girl I want to meet now that I will think of it as marriage. No matter how many times the clicking happened, it cannot be marriage. Automatically, that area is short. Are you getting what I'm saying? I know it cannot be marriage. Even if it is clicking in my heart, it is clicking something else. All right? That can't be marriage because I'm married, right? So, but I cannot understand that. What is this? So, the areas I'm looking at have been streamlined. All right? So, uh, but always try to find out. Why I said this is because many people automatically just go straight to marriage. And people are married that way based on a click of prayer partner. You understand? And then the, the thing doesn't really uh, work out. Thank you, sir. This is the sixth person I am dating in the past four years. They always leave when they meet my mom. This is because I have six siblings and an aged mom. Now he's asking to meet my family and I don't know what to do. My friends are saying that I should not take him home until he has proposed. Oh, okay. Eh? He has not proposed. He has not proposed. So why, why is he going home? Okay, so somebody that has not proposed should not go home. Sir? Some, why? Somebody that has not proposed should not go home. And do I take a prior partner home? You have not said anything. Let me tell you something. Until a guy has spoken, he has not spoken. Eh? We are getting on. I really like what is going on between us. What is it? We See, until a guy has spoken, he has not spoken. Let me tell you. People have situations. I'm telling you that people that, you know, you just think that this person is coming to marry you. And he's not thinking about it. Is you don't give yourself an unnecessary heartache, I beg, please. Uh, and even if the guy has proposed, yeah, don't take people home until you sorted home. I don't have all the time, but let me just pen it that way. Don't take people home until you sorted home. That, in other words, you should feel what will happen when the guy is come has come before the guy comes. You should know. You should test the ground. You should talk. You should, you know, you should settle the house before you bring someone else's son to come and, you know, witness something that would discourage the person. And then you should prepare the person as well. But if you have had six relationships and it ends that way, I would say then delay that side. 
deliberately. Build the relationship strong first before you subject it to exams. That's why Jesus did not face the devil until he was about 30. Do you understand what I'm saying? Make sure, like, let, let me give you another practical example. Uh, I have aborted seven times. Okay, somebody proposes to me now, and the next thing I'm saying is, um, before you go far, I have aborted seven times. Even if the guy had a little conviction, you want to kill him? <laughs> as in, as in, as that's more, that, I'd let the conviction settle down first before you remove the leg from the conviction. All right, so don't, don't attack the person with, uh, with your baggage. Let the, person, let the person settle down with that conviction and then as you are weighing it, begin to uh, drop those things to say, especially when you are convinced that this person is a person. All right, praise God. Thank you, sir. So there is a question that is the last question I have. He said, thank you, sir. What role do your biological parents play in the person you marry? For example, if you are very convinced about who to marry, but a parent or both are not, what should I do? Ah, uh, uh, you have a heavenly father that supersedes all parents, and he can move the, as, the, as the, the heart of kings are in the hands of God, and the rivers of water, he directed them to where survive. We have seen people whose parents have said, no way, you cannot marry this guy. And they stood with it. They will not argue with the parent, but they will stand with it. They will keep praying. They will keep praying, God, confirm your word. And for a particular situation like that recently, the parent just came one day and said, hey, where's that guy that you were talking about? They said, he's still there, he's waiting. I said, okay, okay, okay. And they sponsored the wedding, they sponsored everything, they sponsored, they were the ones. You see, that thing, what it does is more than their consent. What it does is that it strengthens the conviction of those parties that indeed, eh, God is involved in this. That's what it does. That's why God sometimes allowed the lion to attack you on the road so that his power can tear the mouth of the lion and you can find honey in it to show that any day you doubt that God was on this journey, you remember the lion the spirit killed. Uh, did I make sense to somebody? There must be some things that happen at your back as signs to show that, look, God is in this journey, even if it goes tough. Because sometimes people don't get, get children until, the, until after seven years. So how do they, do those things make you doubt? They make you doubt. Many things make people doubt in my like, ah, maybe it could have been Bankel. Maybe it could have been Tosin. Ah, and I thought of Tosin that time. You know, he won't tell his wife. He won't tell his wife. But when he thinks like that, what stops those thoughts are the things that happened that God used to show that I was involved. It's called the signatures of God. So I say, before you get married, in this relationship, are you seeing the signatures of God's involvement? So let me ask your neighbor, are you seeing the signatures of God's involvement? So this question says, I have a guy I am interested in. When he gets overwhelmed with work and life, he will ghost me for a day. No contact at all. When he's ready, he reaches out. I do not like this. What should I do? Okay, well, those are problems alongside many other problems that has to do with a, 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 a father's job. In other words, somebody that is working on that guy, those are the kind of things that person is supposed to have dealt with. I like saying that make sure you are submitted to somebody directly who is working on you as a guy. It's called discipleship, it's called mentorship, it's called spiritual fathering. Somebody has that, and it's always safer to marry any guy that has that structure. The reason is because you can always have somebody to call on, yeah, when things go south. And those kind of things are easy because that person has the authority to help uh, that person. That person has an emotional problem, all right? And it's not mean, it doesn't mean that person is terrible. It just needs help. The truth is, a lot of us need help. And unfortunately, we don't know. That kind of guy is shutting down anytime his pressure shuts down. It's actually an emotional problem. It's a, it's a, it's a sub, 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 sub of mental. I'm telling you, you know, they said that many of us are actually mental, mentally unhealthy. It's just in different levels, you know. When somebody, you know, just splash water on the road and there's a, oh yeah! 
you to look at the way you shouted. It's, 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 it's not, it's, 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 it has passed the water. Do you understand? So that means, <laughs> I mean, there's something, there's a, there's, a, there's a measure of madness in many people, especially in Lagos. So we, have, we need help. I'm praying that God will give you access to the help that you need to have a great and mar happy marriage in Jesus' name. So this is the final question. So before that one, I will read this. The question is, how can we reach Pastor Shegun for counseling? Oh. Then, before then, there's a question. I have seen many signs, witnesses, that she's the one, as well as words. However, sometimes, an emphasis on sometimes, the peace is not there. What is your advice? Pray more. Pray more. Don't be too much in a hurry. And then pray together. What did I just say now? Pray together. Okay, if you are, if you are caught in, pray, pray together. If you are not going to be sleeping together, then be praying together. At least pray where you cannot sleep. If you, are, <laughs> if you are not going to be sleeping together, then start praying together and pray where sleeping cannot happen. All right? Don't pray together on the bed. Even if you are playing dumb when. You understand? Don't, don't do that. Don't lock doors and say you are praying. I've told you that physical attraction and affection is human. So you don't, you don't try it. In preventing sexual immorality, you don't do the game where it can happen. You prevent it. That's the scriptural solution. Flee all appearances of evil. Nothing else. That's scripture. So you don't make provision for the flesh. And then you now say you don't want the flesh to trigger. The flesh will trigger. You don't make provision for it. That's the only solution. It's not to do things where things can happen. All right, so we pray together, and you keep building that conviction. So if you say you, you, you know, you're having issues with that, strengthening that prayer thing. Prayer helps to fine-tune direction. The Spirit Googles all things, even the deep things of God. That's, that's my version. The Spirit searches all things. The Spirit Googles all things. And I want to tell you, oh, yeah, I want to end with that. See, let me tell you. We can preach all this thing from morning to night. Somebody is here, somebody says, I'm 37, I'm 36, I'm doing this. I don't have a husband, I don't have a wife. The spirit goes all things. When you subscribe to the functionality of the spirit, please go fully into it. Stay there. Stay there. He will find it for you. There's nothing missing that you cannot find by the spirit. Even physical things. He finds all things. He Google Bible says even the deep things of God. For no man knoweth the things of a man except the spirit of a man. And no man knoweth the things of God except the spirit of God. And he has given unto us that spirit that we might know the things that we are freely given unto us. Because you can be freely given and not know. The spirit finds out everything God has given you. Marato see. So when you pray in the Holy Ghost from time to time, well, see, subscribe to this life of the spirit. I tell you, if you're here, you're not born again. I tell you, I have not seen any other thing that works. There are too many devils and evils in our culture that are already against us. Curses, witchcraft, all kinds and manners of demonic interventions and affairs and all that. You don't even want to go there. There is nothing as safe as a life under the spirit. If there's any guy here, any lady here, you are not on this operating system. Somebody looked at, told my wife. My stepbrother told my wife. He said, where's your husband? My wife said, he's inside. He said, he's fasting. I mean, I said, you are the one that knows. And he told my wife, said, your husband is the one that only one that escaped all the causes in this family. How? Christ. I have not regretted following Christ. I used to have girlfriends who, when I was in secondary school. So I did not think I was born pastor. Eh? But I switched. I never ever since I became a new man in Christ Jesus. That should be about uh, 30 years ago. 32 years ago. In Christ. I mean, ever since I gave my life to Christ 32 years ago, Easter Sunday, 1992, I tell you, I have no regrets. It has made me become who I am today. I tell you, I have a marriage that, is, that God has helped. I don't think there's any other thing that I, I, can, I can ever thank God for more than my salvation. Everything in God makes a difference for me. Can I ask us to bow down our heads and let's pray?
All right, so we wrap this up here and just talk to God. After hearing all this. Amen. Um, How they can reach you for counseling? Okay, I will talk about that. So can we just pray? In the name of Jesus, I want to pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Can I ask you to just stretch forth your hands to the Lord like you want to receive something? I bless you. The Bible says, if you ever received a prophet in the name of a prophet, shall receive a prophet's reward. In the name of Jesus, that missing link in your life, that missing link in your life, that thing that connects everything that is unconnected, that thing, that puzzle, that when it just quite event, that thing that when it clicks, it clicks every other thing. May God supply it to you. May God sort your life out. May Jesus find his seat in your life. I want to ask all eyes closed, everybody bowed in this place. Is there anybody here? You don't have a relationship with God. You can put down your hands. And you know your relationship with God is, has gone south. It's completely off. And you want to subscribe back to this operating system. I just want to raise your hand. I want to just pray for you. Raise it high. And say, Lord, I want to, I want to come to this other side. I want to strengthen my relationship with God. Raise that hand. I, I want to pray for you. I just want to pray for you. If you want to rededicate yourself to God, if you want, thank you. God bless you, my sister. Thank you. God bless you. He can sort everything. No matter how much you fall in, he can sort everything out. There's no better operating system for you to live apart from inside Christ. In Christ is where all the riches and glow in Christ, all the riches in Christ Jesus, everything that pertains to you, life and godliness is there. In the name of Jesus, for every hand that is raised, I ask that the Holy Ghost will come and govern your life again. He will take you to where the things that belong to you are. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. So it's-